Hey guys, welcome to the Hallby Homestead. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to cook something really delicious. Um, I'm not much of a cook, uh, but Dave likes these, so I'm going to make jalapeno poppers, but without the uh, breading like what you get in restaurants. So here we go. So what you need is some jalapenos, which I got from the garden. You need some cream cheese, some shredded cheese, uh, and some bacon. So here we go. Okay, so first uh, you want to cut off the stem of the jalapeno. And as carefully as you can, you want to cut the jalapeno in half. Then you want to carefully scrape out the seeds. And the insides. Now, if you miss a couple seeds or some of the inside, that's okay. It's just going to be a lot uh, hotter and spicier, so uh, keep that in mind. So we're going to we're going to do that to all the jalapenos here, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so next you want to take a bowl and you've got a bag of shredded cheese, you can shred your own. But you want to put some shredded cheese in the bowl. And you want to put some cream cheese in the bowl. So I left this cream cheese out for a couple minutes before I did this, just so it was a little easier to mix. Um, because when it's when it's this cold, it makes it very difficult. And it's still kind of too cold to do this, but that's all right. So you kind of got to estimate how much cream cheese and shredded cheese you're going to use because all jalapenos are different sizes and it depends on how much you're making. So I'm just using two spoons here to mix this up. Okay, so this next part is a little tricky. So there's no real easy way to do this. I'm gonna find a small spoon to do it. But what you're gonna do is scoop up some of that cream cheese and shredded cheese and put it into the jalapeno. I find it a little easier to do it with a spoon because the shape of the spoon you can get, you can push it in more. Sometimes if it's really being stubborn then just use your fingers. Next part, you want to take a strip of bacon and cut it in half, and then, there's no real science to this, but wrap it around, and then put it on a cooking sheet with some tin foil.
Okay guys, so I got all the jalapenos wrapped in bacon on the sheet. I've set my stove to 400. I'm going to put it on the middle rack. And now the recipe that I first saw for this, it says to do it for 20 minutes, but it's never taken that short. So um, I would start at a half an hour and then start checking to make sure the bacon is crispy enough. And, uh, and then after half an hour, check it every five or ten minutes. Well, Dave, you got to step aside so I can check our, on our jalapenos. But what are you making? Breakfast and lunch <laughs> for, for tomorrow. For work? Yep. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to make a breakfast wrap. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. I might eat that before I go to work tomorrow. Well, as long as you remake another one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check my jalapenos. Okay. I can smell them, so we're at 13 minutes. Okay, they still have quite a bit to go. Okay, guys, I think they're ready. Um, I actually set a timer because this was my first time cooking these on this new stove. And it took about 36 minutes, which at my old house, the last stove, it took about 40, 45 minutes. So probably that stove wasn't working properly, but I'm going to pull these out and we're going to try them. Now I suggest using a pair of tongs to uh, pull these up off the uh, off the cooking sheet. I'm gonna put them on a cutting board with some paper towel because they're pretty greasy. Now they are a bit difficult to get up off the foil. If I find a better way to cook these, I will let you know. Um, you could also cook these on the barbecue, which I think would be quite good. Although I've never tried, so I couldn't even begin to tell you how to do it. This is something you got to kind of watch as it cooks and stop it at the right point. Mainly it's about how crispy you want your bacon. If you're a soft bacon kind of guy, I guess you don't cook it that long, but in this house, we like crispy bacon. There we go. So let's try it. Are you the official taste tester? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I would suggest knife and forking these, uh, especially when they just came out of the stove because they're really hot. Oh yeah, they're good. They're good? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really good. Ooh. Hot in temperature and hot in... Uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
look good. It seems like when you grow your own jalapenos, they're definitely way hotter than the store, right? Uh huh. <laughs> Well, there you have it, guys. That's my uh, bacon-wrapped jalapeno recipe. Uh, if you try it, let me know. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. See ya.